Hey guys, Dave from Wolfheart Hobbying here, and today, instead of a painting tutorial, we're going to kind of go over something that's been plaguing me with X-Wing miniatures. So as you can see here, I've got my X-Wing T70 and my Hawk 290. Um, now, as I've stated before, I love X-Wing miniatures, uh, that I don't have to paint them, build them, or anything like that, but my only issue with them is these little flight stand uh, things they've got on the bottom here. Now these come already glued into the model and attached to the model when you buy the miniatures. Um, but my issue is, is they've been breaking on me. Um, it's not a fully uh, round piece. It's, uh, it's a semicircle um, <clears throat> hole that they've got. And just trying to take the, the models off the flight bases, they've been snapping on me, breaking, uh, you bump it too hard and it snaps right off. So I've tried using uh, a plastic cement glue, I've tried epoxies, they just don't seem to stick for some reason, I'm not too sure, maybe it's the plastic, it's the glue, I don't know. So my uh, idea that I've done and it's been working for me is drilling out the hole. Now the size of drill bit I'm using is a 332nd size bit and I've been using a power drill. Now you want to go really slowly as you don't want to drill right through your model. Uh, so if you can use like kind of a hand pin vise drill that would be awesome. So here I just uh, skipped ahead. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't need to see me drill out this hole but uh, Basically, we're, I would drill out the hole just so that uh, we can get rid of that piece of the tab that was left behind when it snapped, as well as it gives us a little bit of room to um, play with, and you can even, you know, like tilt your ship if you want, things like that. Um, so you could just go ahead and glue in a new base, uh, drill a smaller hole, but uh, what I do while I'm drilling is I take my flight stand base and see how far the tab goes in. Now you could just clip this um, tab at the top here so that it fits. Um, that's up to you. Um, and then glue that longer uh, flight stand piece to the model. Um, but I don't really want, I, I like uh, the storage unit I have for my X-Wing miniatures and having that long uh, flight stand piece would actually uh, get in the way too much. So, again, just kind of getting an idea of where I want the um, flight stand to sit in the model. And I'm just going to come in with a small ball of green stuff. Now, um, you don't need a lot for this part. Uh, uh, this little tiny ball is way too much, actually. So then it's just push it in, and then taking the flat side of my sculpting tool, I'm just pushing it in so that I get a lot of green stuff in there in, in just the hole so I'm going to use my scraper here and just kind of scrape off the top and get rid of the excess so then it's just a little bit of cleanup um, you know just so you don't have <clears throat> excuse me green stuff sitting everywhere on the model and uh, just making sure that we got a nice coverage in that hole as the next step is pr pretty much um, straightforward, we're just going to grab the piece of a flight stand, or you can grab the whole flight stand if you want, and we're just going to um, push it in the hole. Uh, this will give us a, the imprint of the uh, tab at the top of the base and give us a nice secure uh, fit. So as you can see here, as I'm pushing in, it's going to push out a lot of that green stuff, which is what we want. Now you'll want to make sure that the end of the flight stand is moist so that you don't get any of the green stuff sticking to it. Um, so you can use water or uh, what I use is uh, just a hand lotion. Um, makes it very slippery. So Then it's just cut off the excess and do uh, some minor cleanup around the hole um, just so that you don't have green stuff sticking out. So it's a pretty f straightforward uh, way of repairing these things. Um, I come in a second time and I think a third time just to make sure that I've got a very nice tight fit. Um, <clears throat> now, some of the issue that you could have 
is that the model doesn't sit right on the flight stand so it might be a little crooked it might not be perfectly flat but uh, at this stage too you could make it sit however you want um, just to give it maybe a little bit more character so that it doesn't look like it's just sitting flat in space and whatever it can look like it's flying or however you want so here it happened to my advanced TIE fighter as well or Darth Vader's TIE fighter um, so as you can see the imprint in there is really nice now this uh, green stuff is still fairly uh, wet but just to give you an idea it ends up sitting pretty nicely on the base uh, this model is a little back heavy so uh, same with the Hawk 290 it's a little back heavy so you might need to play with it sitting on the base um, just a little bit so as you can see uh, I just kind of adjusted it to kind of sit maybe a little bit forward here and as you can see it's already starting to kind of fall back so you could uh, you could just kind of get pushed down into where you want it and then leave uh, pull it out quickly and then just let it dry and then go back maybe after it's dry with a little bit more green stuff you could also paint it up afterwards uh, if you don't like the green stuff uh, sitting there but uh, you know that's my um, that's my fix for these broken little tabs on your X-Wing miniatures uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below as well as anything you'd like to see me cover um, whether it's painting tutorials, uh, you know, games, conversions, whatever. I'm not a huge converter, so, you know, be nice to me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, as always, there will be a link to my Patreon and Facebook accounts in the video description below. So if you'd like to shoot me a message on face Facebook, go ahead. And uh, if you want to show some support through Patreon, you can do that as well. Um, if you haven't already or you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my videos and, uh, you know, and all my vlogs. So once again, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video and have yourselves a great day.